The long-awaited molten salt reactor book came out this year by the leadership of Professor Thomas Dolan. The public is concerned about the cost of nuclear energy, the accidents that have occurred, and its long-term waste disposal. And I want to recommend this excellent book by Bob Hargraves, Thorium, Energy Cheaper Than Coal. This is what awakened me to what's going on. This is the new book that was published in June of this year by Elsevier. The first three chapters of the new book deal with motivation. Why are we interested in thorium and molten salt reactors? Four to ten deal with technical issues such as reactor physics, thermohydraulics, materials, chemical processing. And you can see there are many authors of the different chapters. Chapters 11 to 16 deal with generic MSR designs, the various categories. Liquid fuel with a thermal spectrum, liquid fuel with a fast neutron spectrum, solid fuel with molten salt coolant, static liquid fuel, accelerator-driven systems, and fusion-fission hybrids. Then specific reactor designs by Professor Dai from China, Dr. LeBlanc, who will speak at this meeting, Lars Jorgensen, Thorcon reactor, Klusterman, the semaphore, it's a European study of a reactor, and Ian Scott. Numbers 22, 23, and 24 are all deal with using molten salt reactors to incinerate actinide wastes from present power plants. And then finally, the dual fluid reactor. Chapter 26 deals with activities around the world in 23 countries. China is the world leader. They have 700 people working on developing a solid fuel reactor and a liquid fuel reactor. So in summary, we envision a world with affordable molten salt reactors burning thorium, uranium, and actinides, producing electricity, hydrogen, and desalinated water with no serious accidents. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor. I'll show you the book. It's a book that Professor Dolan was responsible for uh, assembling, hurting a lot of cats. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it.